In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own VPN using a Raspberry Pi and this Pi VPN shell script. So let's... Hi everyone, this is Pi VPN and it's a simple shell script that allow you to set up your Raspberry Pi to work as a VPN to access your local network. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as the VPN you buy commercially because those have multiple servers in multiple locations. So they can allow you to set up your location to a different one because they have multiple servers. This one will let you access your own local network. And to start, so this is the page I will, as always, I will link it in the description of this video. Uh, this is also the GitHub uh, repository, which I will as well uh, link in the description of this video. Uh, let's get back to here and to start, this is the installation code. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to a terminal window. And this is, I just remote into my Raspberry Pi and let's paste that in here. Click enter. This will install uh, that Pi VPN. So this might take a couple of uh, minutes or seconds, depends on the speed of the Raspberry Pi. And then we will get into the configuration window, which is right here. So this first one is just saying the installer will transform your Raspberry Pi into an open VPN or WireGuard server. And just click OK. This is just to confirm. Um, the Pi VPN is a server, so it needs a static IP address to function properly. Now, uh, if even if you don't have a static IP address, you can still work with a dynamic IP address. That is also okay. So we just click okay here. Now this will uh, show you that the IP address for your Raspberry Pi, you can see mine is the 192.168.0.29. Save this IP address because you will need it when you do the port forwarding from your router. So for now, I'm just going to click OK. You can actually change this if you want to change the IP address. But for now, we're just going to accept the default and click Yes. Now, um, we will choose a user for the VPN configuration. So I'm going to click OK. And then Text Passion is the only user I have on this Raspberry Pi. So that's going to be the only one I can select. If you have multiple users, on this Raspberry Pi, they will be displayed here and you can choose from them. Click the tab key and click OK. This here is going to ask us to choose a VPN. Uh, there are two uh, ways, which is the WireGuard or the OpenVPN. The WireGuard is the newer version. So I'm going to keep it on the WireGuard, which is selected by default. I'm going to click OK here. You can see the WireGuard is selected. Press tab and click OK. Uh, we're almost done with the configuration. This is the port. So the default port is 51820, but you can change this if you want. I'm going to leave it on the default port. And again, you need to remember this port number because when you go to your router and forward that IP address, you're going to use this port, which we will talk about in a second. So I'm going to just tab and click OK. Now it's just to confirm and click OK here. Um, right here is going to ask me for the DNS provider. And there are multiple options. You can choose whatever you want from here. Depends on the DNS provider you want to use. You can use the space key to navigate through these, or you can just like use the arrow keys here. For me, I'm going to choose Cloudflare. Cloudflare is, is something I'm familiar with, and it's a very secure service. Uh, there are other options here for your DNS provider. But again, um, I know Cloudflare, so we're going to choose that. I'm going to hit the space and then tab to get the, the OK key and then hit enter. Um, right here, it's asking me to uh, choose like, uh, will clients use a public IP or DNS name to connect to your server? And then here, we're just going to select the first one for the IP use this public IP. So we're going to tab and then click OK. You can see the first one is selected. So we can click OK here. And then now uh, the key will be generated. We click OK. So just follow the instruction like that to install. And now 
everything is done then we will just reboot so click ok here uh, do you want to uh, enable an attended upgrade for so we want to do yes for this the upgrade you want to happen because you always want to get the latest version and to stay up to date this is good for security patches and for any server so i do i recommend you click yes let's click yes here and this will be uh completing all the installation for the pi vpn on my raspberry pi so we'll just wait for this to finish and let's give it kind of like uh, a few seconds and hopefully this will be done then i will show you the next step uh, this is done here now uh let's click ok and now it's asking me or it's recommending that i will restart or reboot my raspberry pi so i'm going to click tab and click yes this will reboot the raspberry pi and then i will come back right after that now i've just rebooted my raspberry pi and let's go ahead and open a terminal window and there is one more step we need to do uh, let me first zoom in you can hold Control shift and press the plus sign to zoom in here on the command window if you need to uh, i'm doing it for the recording so you can see better uh, there is one last step we need to do here which we will need to add a configuration file for our uh, machine in this case i'm going to use my laptop but you can use a phone or you can use a different laptop or a pc whatever you like and you can call it whatever you want so the command will be pi vpn and then space add press enter this will ask you to enter a specific ip address range if you want but you can see this is optional so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to click enter since it's optional and then here is asking me for a name i'm just going to call it my pc you can call it anything you want but let's say if this is your phone you can call it my phone or whatever you like for now we're just going to call it my pc i'm going to hit enter and this will generate the file and you can see it's in here it's in home text passion configs so if i open this folder go to the home text passion configs you can see i have my pc file so this is the file that i need to copy to my laptop if you are remote desktop into your raspberry pi you can actually right click copy and then paste that on your computer desktop so i'm just going to transfer this file to my uh, pc or laptop in this case and then i will show you how we can log in into the vpn from the pc but before we do that we need to talk about port forwarding next before we move on to the next step let's talk about port forwarding in your router or wi-fi modem you need to find the port forwarding settings then in that settings you will add a new port forwarding and you will use the raspberry pi ip address for me i've named it raspberry pi but it's also if you want to use the ip address if you go back in the video and see mine was 192.168.029 yours will be different for sure now um, if you go here in the settings set it to manual setup and then use the port number that was also displayed in the settings which is the 51820 if you've changed this port then use the port number that you've changed it to as for the protocol you're going to use udp your router or your modem might look a little bit different so this will depend on which uh, like version or brand you're using um, i cannot really like this will not match exactly as yours but you can probably do a little bit of googling depend on the brand you're using and find the settings and set it up after you set this up and add the port forwarding to your router also be careful with security this could potentially decrease the security for your network so do this at your own risk and make sure the settings are correct and you feel safe and comfortable with this so after you add this and set it up now we just need to sign into our vpn basically so now our raspberry pi is all done with the installation and everything and our router port forwarding is completed the final step is to use this software called wireguard 
which I will also leave a link in the description to their website. If you go here under the installation page, you can install this depending on your operating system. For me, I'm using Windows for now, so I'm gonna download it from here and install the app on my machine. But if you're using Mac or Ubuntu, Android, you get the idea, you can download the app for your operating system. So this is the uh, WireGuard software right here. Let me make this bigger so you can uh, see better. And now we're gonna import the file that we copied from the Raspberry Pi. You remember the file that we called my PC or whatever you called it, uh, and we copied that to the laptop. So we're gonna click import tunnels from file. We're gonna choose this file that I brought up from the Raspberry Pi to my laptop and click open. This will add all the configurations I need to connect to the VPN. And this very much it. Now to activate the VPN, I just need to click this activate button. So if I click that, it will uh, try to connect to the Raspberry Pi and then connect me to the internet through the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I got a successful activation and you can see my VPN status says active with a green check. So this is very much it. We're all done and we are connected to VPN. Again, you're technically connected to your local network and not to the same way to like when you buy a commercial VPN because those will give you servers in multiple locations. This one will just connect you through your own uh, local network. So this is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.